Hey beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm so excited to be bringing you today the December 2019 Eureka Crystal Beads Collection. These collections are always such high quality and filled with so many beautiful beads and findings. I cannot wait to see what's inside. If you've been following their social media, you've gotten a little bit of a sneak peek of the collection this month. Every month they come out with a new collection. The first Thursday of each month it is revealed and I share a video here on my channel giving you the rundown on everything that you can expect to find inside. Just a quick reminder that the contents and colors could vary just slightly from box to box. However, you should be able to see what's in the box at the time that you place your order. You can also use the coupon code ORCHID15 to save 15% off your purchase if this is the first time you're using that code. There are a few exclusions. I will list those down below as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this collection. Ah, yes, take that in for just a moment. These are the colors that we can expect in the palette this month. Some icy blues and pinks. And inside of this document here, we will find the list of everything that's included. Let's take just a second to look at this. It says, as first light touches the field flowers, you see the delicate feathery frost sugaring the landscape as if touched by a wizard of winter. Your visible breath fails to keep up as you crunch the brittle ice crystals. In the background, there's a trickle of water as the frost vanishes in the rising sunlight. You're glad the hard freeze has not yet come. So certainly setting the tone here as we pop into this brand new collection. And here is a peek at the list here corresponding to all the contents in this box. It says that this month this collection costs $55. You do save $31 off of retail by buying the entire collection at once versus piece by piece. They do list all of the codes here that you can enter in on their website if you do want to order things individually, which is nice if you want to go back and order anything additional, for example. You will notice I don't have colors listed on this list, and that is intentional just because, like I said, the colors could vary slightly from box to box depending on when you order it and the limited nature of the contents. And of course, I will leave the link and the coupon code down below the video in case you would like to purchase one for yourself. They also have some of their past collections in stock, and I do have videos for each one of those as well. Now let's get into our Fairy Frost collection and take a look at everything one by one. We're going to get started with some Japanese seed beads. So item number one here, we have some Miyuki Delicas. These are size 11. We do have a two and a half inch tube here, and it looks like we are going to have a total of three tubes of Miyuki size 11s. The colors are not listed, of course, but these are a very luminous white with possibly a silver lining underneath that white tone. And this box does appear to be fantastic if you are into bead embroidery in particular, and maybe are interested in getting into it like I am. Here's number two. These are a mauve light pinkish grayish tone in the Japanese Miyuki Delica size 110 also. And then for our third container of Delicas, we have this one right here, a matte shade. Looks like it has a AB finish on the one I received. And that looks to be a gorgeous shade of a medium teal blue. You can see so far just with those three containers that they are following that color palette beautifully and kind of what you can expect to introduce you to the color palette in this collection. The fourth item here in the Japanese seed bead category are these in this tube. These are size 11 Miyuki round seed beads in a two and a half inch tube. And what a gorgeous metallic shade of light dusty rose pink that is beautiful always happy to add these to my stash and certainly look gorgeous with the other colors that we have going on in this collection and now we're going to get into the next category on our list which is called notions so some of these additional items here we're going to get into the container that i have here beside me which is labeled number four now this is an ultra suede Something I haven't worked with, of course, because I've never actually done bead embroidery and I'm dying to try it. I know that Eureka Crystal Beads is going to be coming out with a project that you can create specifically probably with the contents in this box and I can't wait to do that. So this is a beautiful shade of light dusty blue and it is an eight and a half by four and a half inch sheet of this ultra suede material. Very soft, 
great for beading on and creating some of those beautiful cuff bracelets and pendants, even rings, all sorts of things. The next item we have in the notions category is this, and this is a tube of E6000 industrial strength glue adhesive. This of course is great for bead embroidery projects in addition to lots of other beading projects due to the fact that this can be used with foiled cabochons and crystals and it won't damage the backing. So it's so great that they included this in the collection because you will be ready to go with your embroidery project. Nice size tube there that will go a long way. Next up we have another staple and these are some pony beading needles. We have both the 10 and the 12 size in this particular package. Always great to add more beading needles to your stash. If you do a lot of beading like I do, you know they can end up bending, you lose them. Hopefully you don't find them in your feet after you're walking around your beading area. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on. We're actually ready to move on to the next section which is our Czech glass slash European Lunasoft section. So the first item in that section is this right here, and it looks to be a strand of faceted rondelles. These are listed as the six by three millimeter size, and there are 60 pieces on this strand in this color palette. Definitely sums up what we're seeing here today with those icy tones of tanzanite and clear aqua blue, that light sapphire, and we have some of that deeper sapphire tone in here as well. Look how sparkly those are. And you can use these, of course, all together, or you can separate out the colors and use them in separate projects. Next up, we have this strand, and this is a four millimeter strand of Czech Glass Fire Polish beads. There are 50 on the strand right here. This is a great staple color to have. A basic white has that typical shiny fire polish finish on it, and will be easy to use and incorporate in a number of projects and color palettes. Next up, we have this bag, which contains a strand of around six millimeter fire polish beads. There's 25 pieces on this gorgeous strand. You can see that icy, kind of opalescent, partially translucent, partially milky fire polish beads that are glimmering in the light and kind of have almost an inner glow to them. Certainly can see why these are included in this month's collection. And then we have this bag, which contains some three millimeter round druff beads. There's 100 pieces on this strand, so a nice long strand, and this color that I received appears to be a light, dusty, rosy pink, and also has a bit of a luster finish on it. You can see if you look up closely at each of these beads, there is a little bit of a speckling kind of look to them. So some gorgeous details, what you'd expect from the specialty Czech glass beads, and a great staple size to work with that you can incorporate in a number of bead weaving, stringing, and embroidery projects. Next, we have a couple of cabochons to check out, and this bag contains a 24 millimeter round cabochon. It's called Luna Soft Lucites. Let's take a little look at this close up. You can see how it glows under the light as I move it slightly. It looks gray at one angle and glowing white on another. And here is a look at the back. Wow, I didn't mean to blind you guys, but it is very shiny on the back there. That silver, this is one of those items that's gonna be great for your bead embroidery to bead around. And of course, you could use it in your beading to bezel around also. That just simply glows, it's beautiful. And then our next cabochon here, which looks to be along very similar lines, just a different size. And this is a 14 millimeter round cabochon, also Luna Soft Lucite. That glow is so stunning. Oh my goodness. So be on the lookout for some projects from Eureka Crystal Beads. I think they do incorporate at least one of these in an upcoming project. Our next section that we're about to get into is our Swarovski crystal section. So much more sparkle to come here. Our first bag in that section contains some 10 millimeter cabochons. And these are actually Swarovski crystal pearl cabochons. There's two of these and these are the 10 millimeter size. Gorgeous luster there. Like I could see these making a beautiful pair of earrings. Let's take a look at the back. So there's a look at the back of that. Very classic pearl with that white color, but that luster on it is just beautiful. And then next up we have this bag, and oh my goodness, these look like pink opal. These are two Swarovski crystal chatons. These are eight millimeters in size. Since I have them flipped this way, here's a peek at what the back looks like. But more importantly, 
Here is the picture of what the front looks like. Gorgeous, sparkly, very milky, light, pale pink with lots of fire inside, lots of gold coming off of the inside of those chatons. Will be beautiful in some settings that we may have actually received for these, so we'll see as we go down the list. Next, we have this bag, which of course we have to have some Swarovski crystal bicones in the uh, in the Swarovski section, and these are a four millimeter size, absolutely stunning finish on these. There's 20 pieces in this bag, and you can see the AB finish. You can see that gorgeous sparkly rainbow metallic like effect that these have on parts of the bicones. Reminds me of that fresh fallen snow, especially in the morning as the sun comes out and starts to glimmer against all those ice crystals. Next up, we have this bag, which contains two Swarovski crystal rivalies, and these are a 10 millimeter size. Wow, what a stunning blue that is. So much sparkle included in there, a nice medium blue. And there's a look at the back. Another one of those stones that works great in a setting that we may see a little bit later in this collection or beat it around. And then we have this bag, which contains some larger Rivolis. These are the 14 millimeter size. And we also have two included in here. And let's just take a moment, shall we? Let's just take a moment and appreciate how beautiful these are. Do you see that extra coating that these have over top of the Rivoli, which makes them so much more sparkly than they already were to begin with? That's crazy. Oh my goodness. These are stunning. And I'm just moving them around again so you can really get an idea for all of the light play that's going on there and all the reflective properties that these have. Here's a look at the back. These Swarovski stones are always coated so immaculately and come with such great quality. So that's what I like to reiterate with these Eureka Crystal Beads collections that you are getting very high quality pieces. So especially if you've been beading a while and you are spoiled by using these materials, you will really appreciate the Swarovski, the Japanese seed beads, all of those other things that we're seeing here today. And then finally, in the Swarovski section, we have this bag, and this contains some square cushion Rivolis. There's two of these included. It looks like these are the 12 millimeter size. Beautiful coating on the back of these two, of course. And just another gorgeous set of two stones, that opalescent look with that like AB finish on them. It has an inner glow. You can see all the different colors that are kind of shining back between the blue and the pink and gold and a little bit of aqua too. And now we're moving on to our last category and this is the findings category. And there's actually quite a few things to look at here. The first one being this bar clasp. There's one piece in here. And one thing I want to mention is that all of these findings do appear to coordinate, which is very handy. So they are all in this shiny, bright, metallic silver tone. You can see how this clasp slides up and down. It's got all the spots here to make something a four strand bracelet or necklace, for example. And then we have this bag, which contains another bar clasp, this time in a different size. And this is a smaller size so this would actually be the 21 millimeter i believe and this one is the 26 millimeter again in that shiny bright silver finish that coordinates with our collection and then we have this bag which contains a 14 millimeter so on around rivoli setting there's actually two pieces in here so this is what I was talking about. Goes along with some of those Swarovski stones that we saw earlier. Great for your bead embroidery projects. Nice that they included those settings right in this collection for you. Speaking of those settings, we also have some 12 millimeter sew on square Rivoli settings with prongs. There's two pieces here. Great for our beautiful cushion cut square Rivolis that we received. We also have an eight millimeter sew on round Rivoli setting. There's actually two pieces in here that would be beautiful for those light pink chatons that we looked at. And yet even more settings. I'm actually really enjoying this because I have hardly any of these types of settings. So I really do appreciate having some ready to go with this collection. That bag contains some 10 millimeter sew on round Rivoli settings with four prongs, two pieces again in that bag. And now what would the Fairy Frost collection be without some cup chain? We have some three millimeter silver plated rhinestone cup chain. There is a foot of that in here. 
And of course, of course it has an AB finish on the one I received. I mean, look how stunning that is. That's absolutely gorgeous. Cup chain is so versatile and fun to play with. You can use it in bead weaving and embroidery. It just adds so much sparkle. Our next bag contains some two millimeter silver plated Rolo chain by the foot. And it looks like we have two feet in this bag. Such a great staple item to have, again, in that bright silver tone. And those nice wide links that are a signature of the Rolo chain makes it easy to attach your clasp to or other things that you want to attach, maybe wire wrapped loops, those kinds of things. I'm always using chains, so I do appreciate having some additional material to work with. And the final item in that section is yet another bag of cup chain, this time being some two millimeter silver plated. There is a foot of that in here. So this is that tiny, tiny, but oh so sparkly cup chain that actually you can see featured in this ring that I'm wearing right here. And coincidentally, you will find everything you need in this collection to make the ring that I'm wearing, including some two millimeter cup chains, some four millimeter fire polish beads, and some 110 seed beads and you can stay tuned for the tutorial that I will be posting for that as just another example for you of what you can do with your cup chain. And last but not least, everybody does get a free gift with their purchase of any Eureka Crystal Beads collections up to $5 and it looks like the free gift that I received is the silver lined, very generous bag of seed beads. Let me pop that out real quick. All of these free gifts, of course, are going to be different. So you will probably likely receive something different than what I'm showing you today. But here I have an entire hank, I guess you'd call it, of some silver lined clear, maybe 8-0 size seed beads. Then of course go very well with the items that are received here in the collection. So that is everything for the December 2019 Eureka Crystal Beads collection in the Fairy Frost theme. It is no surprise to me that I'm very happy with this collection because I've always been a huge fan of Eureka Crystal Beads from the very beginning. Their materials are just such high quality. They have a beautiful website with a large array of different colors and materials to work with and I find their prices to be very reasonable. So if you're looking for high quality materials, maybe a great gift for a beater that you know, or maybe a gift for yourself if you wanna treat yourself to some high quality materials, especially for this month. If you're into bead embroidery, that's kind of a no brainer, but also if you are wanting to try it out, this is a great collection for you to get yourself started. You have your E6000, you have so many different settings and beautiful Swarovski stones, in addition to things like cup chain and Delica's your ultra suede, I mean, so many different things to get you started. And like I said, some projects corresponding to this collection will be coming out as well. They do have limited quantities. You can use the code ORCHID15 if you'd like to save 15% off and haven't yet used that code. That is a one-time use code, not applicable on sale items, but it is applicable on your entire purchase. So if there's anything else you've been eyeing from their site, it would be a good time to include that with your purchase. And as I have been with the past Eureka Crystal Beats collections, I will be trying to come up with some projects on my own that I will be sharing in the future as well. So please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let us know what you think of this month's Eureka Crystal Beads collection because I'd love to hear about it and I'm sure they would love to hear from you as well. Also, you can let us know if you have purchased any of their past collections, how you've enjoyed them, or anything else you'd like to say. Lastly, don't forget the color selection could vary slightly from box to box, but you can check their website when you're ordering to get a better idea of exactly what you'll be receiving. And the items will stick as closely as possible to what you see here today. And of course, the value will be the same. So thank you as always to Eureka Crystal Beads for sending me this collection. And of course, thank you for joining me. So until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidnopal.com. Thanks for watching.